Morning all. Webby Sports Run up on a beautiful Friday morning. There's, no it's not is it? I'm looking up, oh my, where is the sun? Everybody's been moaning this week, a nice bit of sun yesterday, it's gone cloudy again. Give it an hour or two, it'll be gone. If you look over to the south, then you can see uh, La Gomera, just on the left hand side. La Palma's on the right hand side, you can't see. On the left hand side, you've got El Hero. Right, wing it round. Yeah, you're thinking, what's he doing? A little vlog on a Friday morning, you're having a laugh. Webby, what's the matter? Right, listen, I'm not fit. No, nothing to do with getting fit. Now, good luck to see me friend Pauline, because, uh, listen, you all know I'm a dinosaur when it comes down to phones, computers, and all that sort of stuff. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo, so Dawn's good friend Pauline. She does all my... Uh, flights for me and everything on the email and everything so I need a couple of signatures, signatures to send back to somebody over in Malta why Malta can't tell you but you can guess and uh, so I'm going to take a walk up to her apartment and get that sorted so I thought what well, did I need to do a vlog and the reason I'm doing a vlog a small one is because I've had a fair few people say where have you been vlogs have been very quiet this week First and foremost, my big pal Dominic and Alison, big Celtic fan from Scotland. He's messaged me this morning. Where was all your vlogs? They're here with the family till next Friday, so we're going to go out and see them next week. And the other thing is, to be honest with you, I've got no bloody car. I've got I've had no car for three, three and a half weeks. I keep borrowing mats, and it is what it is, isn't it? So uh, can't go anywhere, can't do anything. But fingers crossed. I'll have it by Monday. It, it, it all worked out. Uh, my Spanish Spanish mechanic. Well, I uh, what well, I want to get. Uh, yeah, nice um, Yeah, my, I've got my gypsy mechanic. Lives up the mountain and uh, does it in his spare time. He's a good lad. So it was my camshaft. It was a chain. When I started turning the engine on, it would rattle, crack, and whatever. And I thought, oh god, I've got to get this sorted. Just in case it packs up, and I'll take Dawn out for the day. So. Um, so that cost me six and a half hundred to do that. So we've put that in, all working okay, but there's still a bit of a noise. Uh, by the way, over just on the left hand side is um, is the Mind Hotel. It's the brand new one, as you can see now. Okay, lovely, it is nice. And the views up there is absolutely fantastic. As somebody showed you last week, it was in my manor and Tim's manor. I was not a happy bunny. Anyway, it is what it is, free for all. Just uh, leave Kalosovaki out. Right, let's get back to it. So that cost me six and a half hundred. Um, and then um, he said, well, when I start it, it's still a little bit of a, a rattle. I said, I want it sorted. So I'm going to sell it. He's had a lot of money spent on it. It's a lovely Mercedes. It's a 250 Champagne Automatic. And I said, I'm going to buy some, at, um, bit of a 4x4 or something. Because obviously we're both getting older, me and the boss. And getting out of a Mercedes is not easy and getting in. So anyway, so he, he got in touch with a good friend of his who works for Mercedes in La Chaffira, and he said, you need this, that. He ordered it, and it came the wrong size or something, I don't know. So he ordered another one, and it couldn't come yesterday, because it was Fiesta Day, typical, isn't it? So hopefully it's, come to, it's coming today, then it'll be ready for the weekend, Monday or whatever. So Matt says, Dad, stop, stop moaning, stop worrying about it, you'll get it when it's ready. So, okay, so we will. Right, um, let's have a, just going to, uh, well you've seen all this before, but you might as well see it again. There's a few punters walking around today, isn't it? Friday morning, don't forget Friday's a big time share change over day. We go to the left hand side, it's Tropical Park, that's uh, Pirate Hotel, time share in there, and it's nice, very, very nice in there indeed. It's whiskey round, that's the big roundabout, and then you've got, uh, out, uh, you've got the restaurant Nebula, and the nice bar upstairs. There's your taxi rank, and you go down to uh, Eclipse. Well, I should be going down on the way back in a minute. And you can see Happy Shopping, uh, and all the bits and pieces down there, down into my little manor. Okay, right, weather's it's, it's cloudy if you just join the, uh, just join me channel. If you just join me channel, my name's Paul Webb, been here 30 years, three pubs as you all know, retired nine years. I had the uh, plow into viscous for three and a half years. There, with lucky enough, I got all the Coventry football team in there. Dion Dublin, Kevin Richardson, and all the boys. Boosty, who broke his leg against Man United, remember years ago. 
good part of mine. Anyway, let's just get round. Then go up and down like a yo-yo with me. So then I had little webbies for nine months up at Sandy, uh, Sandy Henny Auto. Sold that to, uh, who did I sell it to? Oh, a nice Geordie boy. He was retired and a uh, taxi man. So he had his own taxi company and he had that for nine months. And then he took the keys in. Not as easy, is it, as you think? And then we, did have, we had a bit of time off and uh, most people know that uh, we had the garden bar. And turned it into the world famous garden bar for 10 years where we had uh, some famous footballers in there. As most people know me of, uh, one of the famous ones was Paul Scholes of Man United, had him in there. Then his uh, wife, Claire, came in with the family a few weeks after when uh, they played, uh, they played, okay, played Porto, Man United, in the Champions League many, many years ago. Uh, who else have I had in there? I've had Durante in there. I know, so, you know, Tam Cow and Motherwell. Uh, Bobby Leonard Celtic, what a top, top player. And one or two darts players, I remember. Um, who's the, who's the uh, darts player that I have who dresses in black from Don... Is he from Doncaster? Yeah, black in. Ex-world champion, wasn't he? Come on, I can't even think of his name now. Dennis Amenis. Dennis Priestley. Had Dennis Priestley in as well. What a good lad. So anyway, if you just joined the channel, Webby Sports Roundup. I'll be 67 in August. Don't send me no birthday cards. Oh, cake. And I've uh, been doing this for just over a 12 month now. I'm nearly up to, well, about 1,950 subscribers. And I absolutely love it. Passion. Money. A few quid. That's all. Hardly anything. But it is what it is. I do it for passion. And for the love of sport. What else would I do? Don't smoke. Don't take drugs. Don't take any of that stuff. Just get on with it. We have a laugh. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. It is for free. Don't forget. Don't cost you anything. And if you like what you hear, love what you see then just uh, press that like button. That's, ooh, he's going a bit taxi man. That's what gets it around the world. So that goes to Google and uh, they put the adverts on and send it and what have you. So that's what I like to do. Big Coventry City football fan, as most people know. 55 years, went to the game. See Coventry Man United, April the 8th, 1969. Beat him 2 1, and that was it. I got stuck, hooked, whatever. George Best, Bobby Charlton, they all played. Superb, loved it. And uh, oh, just seen on the uh, phone this morning that King's Own Gloucester Rugby Club was voted the best Premiership um, rugby club in the land for the atmosphere, uh, for everything there. Fantastic, and it is. They respect to be finished second bottom of the Gallagher Premiership. Newcastle uh, were bottom, played 18, lost all 18, but hopefully we'll um, we'll turn it all in next year. Got one or two new signings. Anyway, so that's the reason why uh, I've done very few vlogs. And the, the biggest reason is because Scott's Corner is on a Wednesday, quarter past five o'clock-ish. No Scott's Corner, all football's finished. Not doing my football tonight. Because the football's obviously Premier League, they've all finished the playoffs and so forth. But tune in tonight to Tim's, Tim Dowd, living with MS in Tenerife. If you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to him. He's my top man. Good, good friend of mine. I will be on with him tonight on Freaky Friday. Looking forward to that for, a, for 40, 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, whatever. All depends who he's got on, but uh, I'll go on there. We have a bit of fun. We have a laugh, don't we? Let's have a look. We've got a San Francisco apartments on the left-hand side. And if we whisk that round... Around there, you've got... Uh, that's the Blue Sea. That's the all-inclusive... Okay, that's a little bit of a bit of a cheapy, is what it is. Say no more on that one. That's a San Francisco, which is let's take a seat. San Francisco apartments in there, which is residence uh, people all live in that one. And if we look at around here on the right hand side, you'll see Calio Beach. That's where Tim living with their mess and Tenerife lives with Christine. And then a bit further up there, you'll see. I'll show you in a minute. I'm we'll going in there. Sunset view. That's the where I have a nice little one-bedroom apartment that we rent out. Me and Dom. So if you want an inquiry, cheapest chips is fantastic. We've got Wi-Fi, English television. Well, I want us, and um, it's all in there. And if you want an inquiry, if you want to check anything out, then just send me an email: webpaul36 at gmail.com. Webpaul36 at gmail.com. 
all lowercase. Let's wisp you around. You can just see over there. Okay, let's have a little look. Hey, look, there's the, here's the two girls. Look. Big Alex, my pal, Scottish Alex, big Celtic fan. He's not there, but his, uh, his wife Carol is with uh, one of their friends. So um, they're over there. So that's, you can see the edge of the uh, sea over there, which is nice. So anyway, so the reason I'm doing this vlog is because I've done very few this week. So, and obviously what we're going to be doing next week is um, quite a few vlogs next week. Morning, girls. Morning, Morning Carol. There she is, big Celtic girl, unbelievable. Um, yeah, what else we got? So next week, we've got um, Simon and I, uh, maybe one other, going to do some walks on a few bars. Uh, where are we going to go? We're going to go down to um, Los Cristianos. We're going to go down to Fania Bay. We're going to go down to Winchester. Uh, we're going to hit uh, the Sky Bar in Fania Bay. Fania Bay, no, it's, it's not. It's, it's Portugal, I'm sorry. I see Matt down there. See if we can interview anybody that's walking around. I just give you ideas of uh, what bars that you can visit to go and watch the Euros. Because most of the bars are going to are going to put the Euros on, but some places are going to be a lot better than others to watch it, aren't they? To be honest with you. And uh, Simon and I are, uh, will give you some advice. Say, listen, if you're in this area and you want to pop in, then go and have a good drink, have a have a bit of grub or whatever the case, and uh, go enjoy yourself. And fingers crossed, England, I think have got an absolute fantastic chance of the Euros this year. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Morning. Oh, that, that's um, Paul. I haven't seen him for a long time. Anyway, long, another story, that is. So, um, the other thing on top of that, um, I'm doing these 15 questions. Big Gavin, big Newcastle fan, was the guinea pig. He was the first one. I've got a few people that want to do it over the weekend. Colin from Bournemouth, my pal, got his YouTube, uh, Carl's Place. If you've not subscribed to him, have a look. Down in Bournemouth, top, top fella. Him and Saf, his daughter. They're going to do uh, 15 questions for me the weekend. Hopefully also Kevin the Scotsman. Just been a better dorm. He's going to do a 15 questions. And I've got a few others are going to do them. So, um, yeah. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a bit of fun. We're going to have a bit of fun. So just before I go, what we'll do is, let me just turn you around, walk up. If you just tuned into the channel, my name's Paul Webb, as in Akka Webby. Webby Sports Round up here in sunny Tenerife, where I've lived for many, many years. And I have my own sports channel, and we have uh, a nice little walk with my wife Dawn on a Sunday morning, where she gets more views. I don't blame her. She's brilliant, isn't she? Very good. Uh, patriotic, she's from, from the Cotswolds, so top, top lady. Right, listen, this is a big one tomorrow, all right? This is where you must not miss. We're going live in Laura's, 9.30 till 10.30. Three of us, I'm not going to tell you who they are, three of us, and we're going to be discussing for a few minutes something catastrophic could happen to one of our football clubs, who will name nameless at this moment in time, who is on my show. Not necessarily the one tomorrow, but could be another one. So one of my colleagues... Whether it's my number two, three, four, five, six, ninety-nine, something catastrophic could happen to this particular football club. And you will find out tomorrow morning, so you better get ready for it. Anybody wants a shout out, uh, send some uh, comments through to this one. I'll take all your comments. I add, I add them all to the list and I send the comments back and so forth. And uh, I love it. I just love all the comments. It really is. It's a great bit of fun. There's Big Dave. There's our Dave. He used to work in Three Horse Shoes. He's now in Players Lounge. In um, That's another one. That's another good walk. Uh, we'll ask him. We'll ask him if, uh, if he's got the football. I'm sure he has. In Players Lounge down in San... No. San Telmo. Is it San Telmo? Yeah, I think it's San Telmo, isn't it? Yeah, I think we'll ask him anyway. And uh, that's the guy... On the right hand side, he's, he's uh, yeah, he's a nice fella. Always got his dog and whatever. So, so we'll see. Hey, what are you two? What are you two on about? Do a bit of ducking and diving. Morning, morning. Right, listen. Dave, Yo. come on, you're on. Hello. Right, Players Lounge. Yes. That's where you work now. Correct. Used to be three or shoes. Yes. Many, many years ago. Did a great job for many years. You're in the player's lounge. Now, I'm just doing a little bit of a, a video. I haven't done many this week because my car's out of shape and what have you. So I'm good. 
got to go see somebody about so much. So I thought I saw Big Dave there. Uh -huh. Now you have got the Euros on in the players' lounge. Yes, of course. So I'm going to do a vlog next week and a week after with Big Simon. Yeah. So we're going to do this. We're going to do the strip. So I'm going to say that so and so, that so and so, that so and so. Yep. So I'm, I'm going to bang you in there if you pardon the expression. Not a problem. So you have all the football matches of yeah. Euros in two weeks' time. Free on, hey, listen to free on. I can see the old old webby drinks on again. I'll appreciate that. But if I'm drinking and driving, I'll take a soft drink. Okay. So that, that, that'll, that'll be next week. So what sort of errors are you on next week? And the week after, are you nights days? I'm predominantly nights. Predominantly nights. Okay, fantastic. And you do one of the best foods on the strip. Yeah, fish and chips, lovely. Fish and chips. There you are. Everybody talks about fish and chips over in Benin or more them other YouTubers. Homemade. Come Tenerife, and you can watch it, can't you? Good boy. Right, have a look, baby. Let's have a look. Look, look at these. Dino's Dino, old. Dino, look. Oh, look. Now he's getting his oldest Buster. Fifteen, man. It's fifteen. Yeah, Buster's not sixteen. Oh, but are you? You're not a football man, are you? You hate it? Right, let's forget, let's forget you then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, I we don't like them things anyway. I told him where to go on his shoulder. Oh, you told Tim where to go? With that, yeah. Well, you won't tell Webby where to go, I'll tell you. <laughs> or, you or he knows where to be shoved. <laughs> Good to see you. Dave, I'll see you next week, week after. Love you. Top man. Cheers, son. And some way. See you yeah, later on. You. Take care. Bye, everybody. Um, bit Dave, yet. Yeah. We're going to go past the... Um, Players lounge down in Santa Elmo next week. We'll have a little walk. Did you hear that? He says, I, I don't do football. I did. Tim was on his own, told him where to go. Oh my God. Glad he, glad he never did to me, that's for sure. Uh, right, listen. Yeah, there's the apartment. If anybody's looking at that's the nice ones there in red, green, brown. And see the blue one in, in the middle? I've got one on the first floor. A lovely little one bed. It's on the money. I'd stay in it myself. Not expensive. And the sun's out, but not today. Nice little pool on the right hand side, so it is what it is. Right, listen, I'm going to um, I'm going to go now. Got things to do, people to see, money to spend. And over there, you got Cali Omar apartments on the left hand side. You can stay in there. That's all good ones. And if you go left up the hill to the right, up to the roundabout, then you can go left to Los Gigantes, or you go right to into a decky. Okay, or you can go through the banana plantation, which is up through there in the middle. Excuse me, and then you've got Player Prezo, which is the next village. And I might take uh, Simon to do a little walk over there as well. Hey, Players Lounge Day, free Arnica, unbelievable. I have to get Simon to drive, but he don't drive, does he? Right, don't forget, tomorrow morning, 9.30 to 10.30, live tomorrow morning. Me, Tim at the helm. Football, sport, giveaway. Don't forget my charity. I'll be discussing the charity. I'm doing for a fact, fighting against cancer in Tenerife. I've got about six items of sporting memorabilia that you would like to win. I tell you, Frank Editore, I've got Darren Goff, ex-English cricketer. I've got a football shirt signed by ex-England footballers. I've got a, a motor racing car, a small one signed by Sebastian Vettel. Absolutely phenomenal. I've got some great stuff to give away and you can actually win it by buying yourself one or two raffle tickets and I'm going to start selling them next week. And it's all going to go towards fact. Fighting against cancer in Tenerife. They have all volunteers. Petrol for the car. And they do other, other little things they help out. They do a fantastic job. And I'll be at the meeting. Well, there's, I'll be at the meeting on Monday night. England, Bosnia, straight after I'll come down. So I'll be away from dawn for a few hours. So she'll be happy with that. And the week after, Sunset Bay. Go see my mate Terry and Maggie up there. It's a big, big... Saturday afternoon event, I think it's two till seven, I think it is. Again, the fact, fact again, fun against country in Tenerife. It's a massive do. Got to raise some money, and I should do a little three, four, or five minute talk on my sporting memorabilia, which is not going to be auction because auction was a bit of a nightmare last year. Pain in the neck. It was hard, a lot of hard work for Tim and myself and one of you. But this year, we're going to be selling raffle tickets, and you'll be able to get them and buy them in Monte Cristo's bar. Uh, so that's one place uh, where you can buy them so right this is going to be it this is me if you've not subscribed Webby Sports Roundup please share it to all your friends we do a lot of good things a lot of walks a lot of talks got the Euros coming up in two weeks time really really looking forward to that all the rugby league the cricket started the T20 World Cup is, uh, is next month on July the 1st, I think, to the 29th. So England's got a great chance of that after taking on Pakistan this last couple of weeks. So that'll be discussed tomorrow morning. Horse racing, don't forget, tomorrow we've got the Derby. Who's going to win the Derby? Who has Lee Sobot from the Yorkshire Evening Post? Who has he given 
to think he's going to win the derby tomorrow. I've got my thoughts, he's got his thoughts. We're going to have a big talk about that. It's just going to be an absolute cracking morning. One hour. We wish we had more, but we haven't. Tim's got to get back. Uh, so don't forget, tune in to Webby Sports Roundup live tomorrow morning, 9.30 till 10.30. And we've got some breaking news live tomorrow morning. OK, so all I'm going to say is now, you like what you hear, you like what you see, please like and subscribe to Webby Sports Roundup. I was going to say in sunny Tenerife, but it's cloudy, but the sun will come out this afternoon. So what I'm going to say is, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Look forward to it. And don't forget, Tim, living with MS in Tenerife tonight, five to six. I will be on with him. We're going to have a crack. We're going to have a bit of fun. Let's get them comments up. Let's get as many people we can watching it tonight, because I will be on it. And we're going to have a bit of fun, and we're going to give away some prizes tomorrow for fighting against cancer in Tenerife. That's the way you go. I'll see you later. There you are. There's Iggy. Cheers, son. I'll see you all tonight at five to six. Take care. Bye from Webby.